in the throes of nature's fury, Colorado is experiencing a tempest like no other. High winds are howling through the streets, toppling trees and hurling debris. The wind's savage melody is a stark reminder of the power of Mother Nature, a force that leaves over 140,000 households plunged into darkness, their daily rhythm disrupted. A fierce and unrelenting windstorm has swept across the state, primarily affecting Boulder County, Denver, and Fort Collins. The gusts, reaching a staggering 80 miles per hour, have led to widespread power outages. Xcel Energy, in a move to prevent potential wildfires, cut power to 55,000 customers. This only amplifies the severity of the situation, leaving more people in the dark, their lives momentarily on hold. Over 5 million people across multiple states find themselves under high wind warnings. The windstorm's intensity is such that Interstate 70 in Kansas has been closed due to hazardous conditions. Red flag warnings have been issued in Colorado and Utah due to the increased risk of wildfires. And in Boulder County, wind speeds have even exceeded 90 miles per hour. A testament to the storm's ferocity. While residents hunker down, firefighters are battling a one acre wildfire near Estes Park a stark reminder of the wildfire concerns that led Excel Energy to their preemptive power cut. This is the reality of the situation, a delicate dance between the forces of nature and the efforts of manking to mitigate the potential destruction. This crisis isn't isolated. It's part of a larger narrative where extreme weather is increasingly straining the power supply. The American Southwest is already grappling with scorching temperatures that have led to a surge in demand for air conditioning. The power sources, especially heater power, are twinting due to a two decade mega drought, leading to concerns about energy shortages. The closure of coal and nuclear plants, coupled with insufficient investment in renewable energy infrastructure, exacerbates the grid's fragility. The shift towards cleaner energy sources may significantly increase electricity demand by 2050, further straining the already stressed power grid. The events unfolding in Colorado serve as a stark reminder of the challenges we face in an era of extreme weather. The high winds, the power outages, the wildfire risks, they all underscore the severity of the situation, but they also remind us of the resilience of communities, the power of preparation, and the imperative to invest in sustainable and resilient energy infrastructures. In the face of adversity, there is always hope. And as the winds of Colorado howl, we are reminded that while we cannot control the weather, we can control how we respond the power outages and high winds are a test of that resolve, a challenge to adapt, innovate, and overcome.